Today I'm going to show you how to set up your listing presets for Pricematic. So this is for the listing presets on eBay.com. So for products that are sourced from Amazon.com. So I've set mine up so that my profit margin's at 12%. You can change this to whatever you like. It can be anywhere between 1% and 75%. I think 12% for me works best because that way I make more sales and I prefer getting more sales at a lower margin than less sales at a higher margin, but that's just me because I like to build up my feedback. I suggest doing either two or three. I do three just because I've noticed a lot of people will buy two of something and then it'll automatically go out of stock and then it'll come back in stock after and they won't buy from you if they need it more. Whereas if you have three, then some people will buy three from you. You can do more, but this is all based on how much listing or how many listings you have available to you. So I would suggest if you're just starting out to do either one or two, probably two would be best. And for item location, I just put United States since these items are coming from either Walmart or Amazon and they have warehouses all across the US. You don't know exactly where each item is going to ship from. So I always put the United States without any exact location. For the shipping options, for handling time, I put one business day because that way it gives me 24 hours to set up my listing or to set up where uh, when I can ship it and to actually order the item from Amazon or Walmart. And so then for the shipping options, I do the standard shipping, one to six business days for free, expedited shipping for $2.99, the UPS second day air for $9.99, and the one day shipping for $29.99. I have enabled the global shipping program, which has gotten me a lot of sales. I get probably almost half my sales come from glo the global shipping program now. So people from all across the world are ordering my items from ebay.com and then what they're doing is I'm sending them from Amazon or Walmart directly to the fulfillment center in Kentucky and then from Kentucky it ships to wherever whichever country they're in and then sends the product to them. So they do repackage it there which is another great thing because then it's not coming to them in an Amazon box. So for overseas people, you don't have to worry about uh, people complaining that their product was from Amazon. And I always, this is an important thing is make sure that you require immediate payment because you'll get so many people who will buy your product and not actually pay for it. And then you'll have to deal with so many of the unpaid item cases. And it's just a real pain uh, it's just better to do it this way where you get the immediate payment so that as soon as you sell an item Then you're getting paid for it and then you can uh, start the fulfillment process with ordering the item from Amazon or Walmart For sales tax it is not enabled because I don't live in the United States And I don't suggest even if you do live in the United States to do the sales tax because then you have to charge it on everything and you're going to lose your competitive advantage over someone who doesn't charge sales tax. So if you say you were selling something for $9.99 and you had a competitor that sold it for $9.99, you charge tax and they don't, that customer is going to go to the person who doesn't charge tax because it's going to be significantly cheaper for them. For return policy, I accept returns uh, within 30 days and the return shipping will be paid by I put buyer but I always send them a prepaid return label because Amazon or Walmart will let you print them out for free free so I put that just in the event that someone's trying to somehow scam the system then I'll make them pay for the return shipping and it's in my, that way it's in my policy but 99% of the time when I do get a return I send the buyer a prepaid label and that makes them happy and then that usually converts into positive feedback. I never charge a restocking fee. You can charge up to 20% restocking fee. I don't personally do it 
but if you're worried about getting returns or you really don't want to get returns, then you can charge a restocking fee, but I don't suggest it just because people will not purchase from you as a result of that. They'll be like, okay, well, I want to try a product out, and if I do have to return it, then I have to pay. If it's 20% on a $100 item, then they're paying $20. So, Or you can not accept returns. I started out, when I first started using Prismatic, I didn't use... I didn't accept any returns, but now I, I do accept them, and I've noticed my sales have actually increased since I've started accepting returns because it makes the customer feel a lot more comfortable when they're buying from someone who does accept returns in the event that they have any issues or something doesn't fit or the wrong size. That way they know they can return it and they have that peace of mind. So anyways, I will put a link in the description below for a free 14-day trial to Prismatic, and you can try it out, and with the free trial, it'll give you the, the repricer, but if you decide to try it out and you, you say you don't like it or it's too much money, then you can still, with that link in the description below, you can still use the eBay lister, the create listing tab show you so it looks like this and then you copy the product URL from either Amazon or Walmart into this continue and post and that then like I said in one of my previous videos you can post the item in less than 10 seconds from Amazon or Walmart directly to eBay and so you can use this for completely free it's always free there's no charge for this ever so if you're just starting out and you have a very limited budget, then I would recommend just starting with this because you can get a lot of products up pretty quickly with using the manual lister like this. Well, it's an automatic lister, but it's one by one, whereas when you use the list listing scraper and the bulk listing, then you can list a lot more at once. And that's not included in the free trial. But if you're just starting out and trying to give drop shipping a try, then this is a great alternative to it not having without having to pay. So thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel and I will be consistently posting more and more videos. Thanks for watching.